don't just come here and be like 10 facts about me who are you who wants to know you why are you stressing out hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl elabadi and i am back again with another exciting video and that's on period in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys five things i wish someone told me before i joined youtube I mean, some of you used to hide up the people that have told me on time. By now, that have, you know, be selling Apple in the market or something. Anyway, my number one thing I wish someone told me about YouTube is you might not be successful. See, don't think that YouTube is a fast means of getting away from poverty or, or just because you're cute with a little sprinkle of, you know, personality. You feel like, oh, I'll just make a video and boom, I'm going to blow. <laughs> My sister, you lie. Except you have connection. Maybe you have friends or friends are already successful that gives you shout out. It is very, very, very hard to grow on YouTube. According to Google, the amount of people that have become successful on YouTube, hey, is very slim. You know how to pick it. And I'm not saying this to scare you or make you feel like, oh, you cannot do my sister. Everybody's race is different. But I'm sure telling you, before you start a YouTube channel, just have it in your head that, ah, it's not going to be easy. I've seen a lady that has been consistent back to back, back to back, and she's still struggling to get to 1,000 subscribers, and she has over 1,000 videos. Some people get it easy, but those people are the minorities. What I'm going to tell you guys that are just starting off YouTube is that don't create videos about yourself. Nobody wants to know about you a day in my life. Who am I? What are you eating a day? Do not create videos about you. Just not. Just not yet. Try as much as you can to solve a problem. That's what I did, you know. Then I was struggling with like acne in dark spot and all that. And I tried to, you know, solve a problem and boom, I got a viral video. So don't just come here and be like, 10 facts about me. Who are you? Who wants to know you? Why are you stressing us? Please, I'm telling you this because nobody told me I made mistakes. So I don't want you to make the mistake. Don't stress yourself because I know it's very, very hard to, you know, go through all that phase and, you know, you do not get up to one views on your channel. It is time consuming. Hey, Chimo. I don't think people emphasize this time consumption. Like, it is so, so. Ah! The filming of the video is like the easiest part. But where you're going to see Shege is when you want to edit the video and spend minimum of like two to three days. It depends. So, if you're the kind of person that likes to have effects, you know, all the shop you want to have, you know, things that will, you know, excite your audience. And personally, I spend like two days just to edit one video. And my videos are not even long. So I wonder people that do like one hour video, 13, how do they do it? Sometimes I run out of content ideas, you know, to brainstorm alone and get a content and then execute the business, which is filming it and trying to, you know, add, you know, some kind of personality to make everything, you know, purpurine. There's another thing. Last thing, places like Nigeria where they take light. So imagine you have done your makeup. You've started filming your video like five minutes into the video you know you're already feeling the vibe and all of that you just think like yeah. you will carry your makeup like this they bring light because you want to delete the video especially when you have seen that the video is very very you know interesting and people will love it ha after going through all this process the thing that is now pinning me you will not upload a video in your mind you'll be like hey jesus so oh, i go blow this video is impacted with knowledge my dear the amount of hours you spend in creating a video does not mean that you know your video will do well on youtube you end up getting three or four views yes now let me bust your head you need views you need people to watch your ads please if you are watching this video that can help me watch that ad i beg it's not easy oh that's why i don't look at people's video and be like ah oh, this video is trash. that person has put in effort to <clears throat> Let's move on to the number three before I start talking and get emotional and start crying. But three tips I'm going to be dropping here is do not niche down. At least not yet. A lot of people will tell you, oh, niche down. Let me tell you the truth. If you niche down right now that you're just starting, it will not give you enough opportunity to evolve. You're just going to be stuck in one box, especially when you're in that box and nothing is moving. Say that when you're just starting off, try different content until you find something that your audience like number one and something that you know you are comfortable in doing something that you can carry on for a particular time don't say oh i want to just do a uh, lifestyle or i want to do skincare my day you burn out and you run out of content you see some days you just wake up and not be motivated because you're like 
and to heck, I don't want to talk about this thing today. So don't niche down at least not yet if you're just starting with it. I personally, I'm still adding some orish, orish, different, different things because I'm trying to like get my audience to enjoy me for being me. I just don't want to be stuck with a particular content. You know, I want to do things that I enjoy. So it's best for you to do things that you enjoy and then your own audience will come and find you because I mean, I would say you give them the good chop. That's the fact. That's fact. Do not compare yourself to other YouTubers, even if you guys are just starting off the same day. Everybody's destiny is different. Our names are even different. How much more destiny? If some people are living the life. Some people are rich. Some people are successful. You can see the fact that you are struggling does not mean other people will struggle. Stop going to compare your progress with their progress. People will genuinely love you for you. Everybody have their fan base. The sky is enough for everybody. So don't feel like, oh, I need to copy this girl. I like the way she does her things, the way she talks, the way she do this. She watches my GA will just end up being a photocopy of someone else. So try as much as you can to not even watch your competitive competitors. I be competitive. The more you watch them, you start acting like them. Some days you start feeling frustrated, like I'm not good enough. Look at that girl's weave. Oh my god, she looks so packaged. Look at her house. Oh, lifestyle. See me that is creating videos. I barely watch my colleagues' video. Yes, it's colleagues, right? I barely watch it. Except I want to get like a content idea. Maybe I want to, I'm, I don't have any content in mind. I'll just start, you know, going through their content and seeing which one I can just pick and draft and turn it into mine. But see, me, I just daily you know, watch other content creators. I love you guys, though, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, put anxiety on top of my hair. I don't want to start seeing your work now. You know, you guys are using the latest camera. I'm still using my phone. I'm still struggling. And then I'm just going to be looking at somebody's already made lifestyle. My own is still cooking. I'll be looking at somebody's own that has done. Do not compare yourself to other creatives i would advise you should don't even watch their content except once in a while maybe you know but five thing i wish someone told me is you cannot use people's music like all these you know baby girl you baby my bro you ain't i might have you cannot i'm someone that likes to use music especially when i'm ah, i want to be booga hey booga my sister if you must make money on youtube as a content creator then you should know that using um music is contraband you have to search for you know specific kind of sounds a lot of sound that we use as youtubers on youtube you know no copyright sound you know stuff like that you know your birthday though <laughs> your birthday you'll be using -na 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 -na. Dun -dun -dun. is as bad as that yes you cannot use music if you must do it if you must do it please be very very careful because i mean if YouTube finds out they are not going to get paid for that video, if that's what you want, then you can fulfill that video. But I personally, I cannot go through all this stress and then I'm not going to make a nickel out of my video. For what? What's not the essence? In as much as I enjoy it, I still need some money, baby. Anyways, these are the five things I wish someone told me on YouTube. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And on my next video, which is going to be next week, I'm going to do something different. Like, ah, that video is going to be the bomb. Like, <laughs> you need to you need to subscribe because, I mean, now we know subscribe and I lose. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed my video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share on my video. Share my video. <laughs> And please don't forget to you know follow me on my socials at Diela Badi and I'm gonna put it on the screen. I love you guys until my next video.